Why did you bring a book with you today, Steve? Uh, we play comedy records, remember? Well, Mr. Smarty Pants, don't you know that all comedy starts with words? And I think you'll agree, by any standard, today's pick is truly a legend of comedy. Culture, we have a lot of um, retirees driving in South Florida in, in the mix. Folks who, I think most of them didn't, I think they mostly grew up in the New York area, didn't drive a lot, if at all, most of their lives, took public transportation. And then uh, they retired, they lost the vast majority of their sight and hearing, and they moved to South Florida and got driver's licenses. I'm Randy Hodgins. And I'm Steve McClellan, and that was Dave Barry, who took a keen eye for everyday indignities and absurdities and built a career that now spans 50 years. Born in 1947 in Armonk, New York, Dave trained as a journalist and started his career at the Westchester, Pennsylvania Daily Local News. He covered local government and soon became city editor, but most importantly, he also talked the publisher into letting him write a humor column. A guest column he wrote in 1983 for the Philadelphia Inquirer about the birth of his son caught the attention of the Miami Herald, who hired him as their humor columnist. From there, Dave's career skyrocketed, and in addition to his weekly column, he penned 15 books, many of which were bestsellers. That success caught the eye of CBS, which developed Dave's World, a sitcom loosely based on his life that starred Harry Anderson. In this clip, Dave is getting advice from friends about his plan to undergo a vasectomy. Let's just say that Beth is in a terrible accident, God forbid, and you end up remarried to Christy Brinkley and she wants kids. You're going to tell her that you had a vasectomy? <laughs> no, I'm going to say, Christy, if at first we don't succeed, try, try again. In 1999, Dave published his first novel, Big Trouble, and in 2004, he stopped writing his weekly column to devote more time to his family and writing books. He also became part of the Rock Bottom Remainders, an ad hoc garage rock group composed of top authors including Stephen King and Amy Tan. And Dave still finds time for a special project or two, including this helpful COVID advice filmed in the early days of the pandemic. As we've learned in this crisis, Toilet paper is probably the single most valuable commodity on the planet Earth. And we're out of it. There's no toilet paper left anywhere. We may have to mine asteroids or something to get more toilet We don't know where it's going to come from. So what I do, just to comfort myself, is keep this roll around my neck at all times. I don't let anybody use this but me. And it's not pretty when I use it, I want to tell you that right now, around my neck. Among Dave's many awards are the 1998 Pulitzer Prize for Commentary, and the 2005 Walter Cronkite Award for Excellence in Journalism. Not bad for a former beat reporter for a small local newspaper. And, as Dave himself would say, we are not making this up. You can find out more about Dave Barry and all our comedy legends, including video clips and extended audio cuts at LaughTracksRadio.com. Thanks for listening, and until next time, it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from him. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you.